Okay, Satvik, are you there? Connected? Yeah, hi. Hi, how are you doing? Good. Okay, so have you worked on the assignment that I gave you yesterday? Yeah. Okay, and is it working? Uh, yeah. Okay, can you please paste the code? Okay. Okay. You have the main part here, then you have the scan OSI, then you have P T I R. You have taken double. What is the amount invested? So P equals to SI dot neck double. Okay. Then what is the rate of interest? Okay. What is the duration? And then you have calculated this. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it looks all right. Yeah, you are saying something. For the interest rate, how do you like get it to work if they type it into a form? Billy, please repeat yourself. What? Oh. Right. Yeah. For the interest rate, how do you like make the value so that they can enter in, in a percent, like two percent, three percent, instead of in a decimal form? Okay. So, okay. So you want to take the rate of interest as in in percent, right? This is what you are saying, right? Yeah. Okay, so the formula for the simple interest is P into R into T divided by 100, right? And the 100 stands for uh, the value, the, uh, the percent, the percent sign that you have with the rate of interest, right? Uh, there is one thing that you can do. What you can do is... Uh, so, okay, I'll tell you. Uh, let me just explain to you something about strings today, and then I will explain that to you. Okay. So, you just saw <coughs> that. <laughs> I'm sorry. A scanner is a class, right? And in order to take input, first you need to instantiate the scanner class. It means first you need to create an object for the scanner class. And then you say new scanner. Alright. This is what you do. In the same way, string is a class in Java. String is a class in Java. A string means a pair means a character like A, B, C, D, single letter, pair means, string means a word, string means a word, a word or a, a statement, like this is my car. Okay. So, 
and how do you how do you define how do you declare these things to use in your program you first say the type which is a string right then you you take a variable my name right my name then ravi so that's a string right then you can use the system dot out dot print ln okay which will help me to print this value okay now you just ask me a question that how can you have the value with some string so whatever you have like you can concatenate you can concatenate two values for an example my name is ravi kumar ravi kumar right you want to add these two strings okay so you will say you will use plus plus kumar so my name plus kumar if i go here and i say string my name ravi and then i try to print this Let's say we have another string, which is my last name equals to Kumar. Okay, so I'll say my name, my last name. Okay, now if I go ahead and I run this. taking time okay so it's saying ravi kumar so this is how it works you can concatenate two strings okay now there are other uh, methods in uh, string in core java which we can discuss so so far is it clear to you yeah okay good so there is one more way you can <coughs> you can use these strings like you can say like i here i said my name right oh. Yeah. How do you make the person who is reading this program input learning? Okay, I I think I think the uh, microphone is uh, um, the earphone or whatever you are using that is uh, far off from your mouth when you are speaking. You need to keep it nearby yourself. Um, how do you make yeah. the person who is viewing your program input their name? how do you what can you be type it your voice is not clear satvik can you be type it for me okay yeah i'm so sorry about it
how do you make a person who using your program put in their name okay okay good good question okay so for that you will need to take the input you will need to take the input through the keyboard for example the name of the student right so I'll discuss that okay uh, we will do a program and we will see that how that happens okay now I'll discuss the uh, another method here for the strings so that is the length length method okay so whenever I say length method then it will have two spaces at the end of the method it means that it's a method and it will it will have some value it will be returning some value okay so this method the length method belongs to the string class the string class that we discussed about this is the part of that class okay what this method will do is this method will give you the length of your string give you the length of your string so we have my name here right we want to find out the what is the length of Ravi the name okay so what you can do is you will have to or what you can do is just store it somewhere like full name okay. and here I am printing full name okay and then I need to calculate the length of the string so length will be an integer right so you will you must have an integer variable here to keep the value of the length so integer length equals to the uh, string variable full name dot length so you would like to print the value of the length whatever it is so length length is my value So I'll go back again to the Eclipse. Okay, so full name is we had this in the variable like the Kumar string last name equals to Kumar So our value should be the output should be Ravi Kumar and then nine. Why it's nine? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So length is the method which will give you the length of your string. So it it should be clear. It's very easy. Any question on this? How can you put a space between the first and last name? Like, how can I? Oh, put a space between the first and last name. 
Okay, yeah. So you can add a space. Uh, you can add some space, right? So like I have here, I have added something like last name, right? So what you can try doing is if you have some space. So that's something odd way in programming. You can do in do it in n number of ways. So you can store the space. That's your last name. Okay. Got it? Satwik? All right. Yeah. You can see the length. The yeah. length is now 10. Earlier it was 9. Now it is 10. Why? Because I added an extra space. Okay. So, um, so for an, for example, you have something like you want to now what you want to do is you want to uh, take input uh, input of a student name is and total marks you want to take input okay and then you want to print them you want to print them out in the console okay. so the output should say my name is whatever the name of the student name the student name and my age is a and my total marks is total mark Okay, can you do that? So you will be taking input of the student name, whatever the so name will be student name will be a string, age will be an integer, total marks will be again an integer. So you you will be defining the integer, the uh, you will be using the scanner in order to uh, scanner class in order to take the input. Can you please try it out? Start with. Sure. Please go ahead. I'll give you, you five minutes. Five minutes is fine.
Okay, so Satvik, let me give you a little hint here because I asked you to take the input of a string. So how will you take the input of a string? So you must have noticed that you were using as a, a input dot next end and where input is your object, right? In case of the string, you will just say next. You will not say next string, okay? You will just say next. So if your object is, if your object is input, you will say input dot, input dot next will give you the next token for the scanner. Whatever you put in next, the next will print that. So if I say, what is my name? What is your name? What is your name? Right? Then you say input dot next. Right? So if you say input dot next, and in the console, you will be putting, it will ask like, what is your name? Okay? Then the user will say, name is Satvik. Satvik. So the next the next method will go to the next line and it will read whatever is there and it will print it. Okay. So in order to take the name of the uh, student, you will have to use next. Clear? Satvik, got me? I think are you done?
I'm done. Okay, you're done? Okay, give me the code. What happened? I, I sent the code. Okay. Okay, my name, okay, side dot next, right? Okay, is it working? Yeah, except for whenever I put in the name, I can't put in my last name. You cannot put my last name? No. La uh, so, so my name is si dot next, right? Yeah. So it has to be like. Um, so you'll have to just print it like this, like. You'll have to take two inputs, first name and last name, right? Oh, okay. First name, last name. While printing it out, you will say first name and then you will say last name. First, you will take inputs, enter your first name, then uh, input dot uh, next, right? Then you will say enter your last name, input dot next. Okay, so in that way it will work. Okay, now we will discuss about the other method that is uh, that also belongs to the string class that is char at. That's the char at. So char at will it's a method which will I'm sorry I have type char at. It's char at. Char at will give you the it will give you the index if i say uh, at the let's say i have a uh, i have my word is two okay if i say what is at the index four so one two three four what is at the index four which character is at the index 4. So char at will give me the character at that particular index. So I'm asking the program to give me the character at the position at the index 4. Alright. So you will need to store it. First of all, you will want to store it. So I'll go back to my program here. Okay, my so full name. So full name. So let's see. So I have Ravi. One, two, three, four is Ravi. Then at the fifth, at the fifth index, I have a space. So I, I want to find out what is that. What is there at the fifth? index okay so i will keep a character uh, variable that is ch or anything equals to what is my string full name right dot cat at Some reason it is stuck. Okay. 
So pair app, see, it's, it is giving me the option. It's the feature of Eclipse autocomplete. So it's giving me, it is asking me to put the index. So I'm asking what is at the number, what is at the index, 5. Okay, and I have restored the value in the CH. I have stored that value in CH, so I will say CH. Okay, so it's saying I have at the fifth position I have K. At the fifth position we have K here. So it will not, I guess it's not counting the spaces. Okay, so that is why it's say it's giving me the value, uh, giving me the uh, character which is K because it's, it is looking for cat. Okay, but the care add method will give you the uh, character at the particular position, at the particular index. Okay, another method is to concatenate two strings. You just saw that I use the plus sign, I use the plus symbol to concatenate two strings. Now I am going to use a method which is a string method that is concatenate. On cat is the method. On cat is the method. Right? So for example you have two strings. You have two strings or, or let's say you have a string and uh, has string first name. Okay. So first name has Ravi. First name has Ravi. Now what you want to do is you want to concatenate the last name here. You want to concatenate the last name with the first name. Right? So what you can do is you can just go ahead and you can say first name, first name dot contact and then what is the last name? Last name is Kuma. So in this way it will be concatenated. Okay. Later on you can print the value of but you will need to store it. You will need to store it somewhere. I have not stored it anywhere. So I will say I have another string that is or uh, you can say I can say first name equals to like we used if you remember uh, the compound operators in our previous class. So first name equals to first name dot concatenate kumahat. Okay. And then I will straight away go to the next line and I will print the first name. System dot out dot println first name. So concat is the another method to con to do the concatenation. Okay, so it has Ravi Kumar. I have used the concatenation. I have used the concat method here. Okay, so any question about the pair at and the concat method? No. Okay, good. So these are the methods.
which of uh, string which are used in the core java okay these are the important methods okay we can also there are n number of string methods if you google you will find there are n number of string methods but they all are not important every string is not important uh, every method string method is not important the most important is the length method and the concatenation you need to concatenate two strings and then you need to find the length of a string that is the most important thing there is one more method that is that is a boolean that is empty okay so it will check if the if that is empty or not it will check if a uh, variable is empty or not that that is let me just show it to you this is one of the methods which will just so it will say if a string variable has any value or not okay so what we can do here is we can have another string okay we can have another string s1 equals to nothing okay and we will have one more string here that's S two equals to um, let's say any word uh, or Java. Okay. Okay. Now what you can do is you can use the that's a boolean method so what does a boolean variable do a boolean variable checks if that is true or false right so i will go ahead and i will say s1 dot is empty in the next line i will check I will also check the S2 in the next line. S2. So it is checking if it has any value or not. right why it is giving in both the cases if it has some uh, uh, if it is empty or not uh, 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 why it is giving false as per this it should have this uh, like the first one the second one should be false why because it has some value that is not empty right but the first one is also giving me false a uh, false because i have a space which is counted as a character a value so that is why it is not it's giving me false for this one so now i have I removed that space between these inverted commas now i will check it once again So now it's giving me true. Okay. Sarthik. I got it. Got it. So there are n number of other methods 
in the if you google it you can see and the another method that you can use uh, which i can think of is you can uh, compare two strings so there is another method which is compare to right so compare to method will compare the given string with the uh, given string with any other string right it will return a positive number or a negative number or zero so it will compare the length it will compare the length of two strings the method compare to okay so how how do you write it you will just say string 1 and then string 2 string 1 dot compare to string 2 so for an example i have here we have s1 and s2 right so we can compare their length what we can do is we can go ahead and go to the next line and then we can just say s1 s1 you want to compare it with s2 so you will say compare to okay so compare to with s2 right And I'm going to check it now. It's giving me minus nine. It's giving me minus nine. Why? Because it compared the two values, right? You can see it. This has no value. This is empty. That's why it was true the S1 is empty and S2 has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's why it's giving me 9, minus 9. So it compared the two strings and then it's giving me the positive, negative or the result as a 0. Clear? The use of compare to Compare to the use of the method is clear. Satik, you can hear me? Oh, it's clear. Okay, great. Great. So uh, let me think of any other uh, method which I can tell you. These are the basic and the uh, uh, these are uh, commonly used uh, methods in core Java. Okay. The uh, next method what uh, you can use in uh, core Java is start with. The start with method you can use it. So start with method will check if the string starts starts with a given prefix if you have a prefix it will check if that is starting with that particular prefix or not okay for an example uh, if it is starting with uh, some like pre p r e is the prefix that you are using with words so it will check if a particular word has the pre p r e as the prefix or not okay so <coughs> if it uh, so if if it is true okay it will return true if that is that is starting with that particular prefix it will return true otherwise it will return false okay so we have a string here core java right so core java is stored in S2. So what you you can do is what I'm gonna do is I will just copy it. 
I'll go to the next line. And I will use the parts with. Okay. It starts with what? Starts with four. I'm checking S1. Uh, I should check the S2. Okay, so it should be giving me true because it has core here, right? So it gave me true. Okay. Now, Satvik, we have used uh, contact, we have used care at, we have used the length method. So, length, care at, then we use the uh, uh, this empty, right? Uh, then we used concat, then we use compare to, then we use starts with. I want you to write a program which includes all these methods okay Satvik can you please do that write a program which includes all these methods all these string methods oh. so first of all you your program should go like your program should go like enter your string so first of all, first of all you will take the input of that particular string Okay, now you will say the length of the string is whatever the user enters, you have to just find out. Okay, if he enters anything, you will, uh, it will check. If he doesn't enter anything and just, you know, give a space or something, it will check and it will say it is empty or something like that. It will say true. Okay, let's not go that way. That seems to be a lengthy thing right now. So what you do is just write a simple program, use all these methods. I will give you another five minutes and this is the last assignment for today.
Okay, Satvik, I'm here. If you need any help, please do let me know. Sadhvik, are you done? Close. Are you done, Sadhvik? Okay. Satvik, if you're done, please paste it. Paste the code. Or if you need any help, please let me know.
सात्विक आई डन I need help on the song captain. Okay, I'll help you. Can you please paste the code whatever you have written? Okay. Yes, please. Okay, so you need help with what? The Kong cat, it doesn't matter. Okay. So, contact what? Contact the last name, right? We'll have to. What is your last name? Here. That's uh, my last, right? Uh, the LAST is all capital. Uh, I'm sorry? The L A S T are all capital. Okay, okay, right. Okay. So So what are you missing now? Are you missing any any method in this? Are you missing any method here in this program? Is MD compared to start to? Okay, so do that tomorrow, okay? Work okay. with them tomorrow and show me that. Right now we will work on this. So what is your name? Your name is Sathvik. Okay. What is your last name? Sathvik. Uh, Goku, D O P U. I can't hear you. Ready, R E D D Y. R E D D Y. Okay. Okay. So it's saying the length. First, it's saying the length, right? Six. Six is the length of what? The first name. Or the last name. Yeah. yeah. First name. First name. Okay. And T is what? T is the at two, right? Character at two. Uh, I will I will uh, explain it to you by saying uh, uh, by saying T and not A, right? I'll explain to you later on. Okay. Now you spoke my name wrong. Spoke my name wrong. Sorry? 
He spelled my name wrong. It's your name, na? Satvik Reddy, right? No, you spelled it wrong. Okay, I spelled it wrong. Okay. Okay, is it? Uh, is it E T? It's S A T H. S A T H. Okay. Okay, I got it. Okay, so it's S A T H V I K, right? Satvik. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. I'll uh, keep it in mind later on. Okay from the next time so this is all for today Satvik and now I wa what I want you to do is you have to practice all these methods okay so from the uh, you know scratch create one more program where you will be using all these methods and you are having some issues with the concat now is it clear the concat method yeah Okay, so use all these methods and then uh, we will work on some more concepts tomorrow. Okay, 7.30 Indian Standard Time. Okay, by your time it's 10 a.m. Okay. okay. By tomorrow, okay. Bye-bye, see you. Thank you.